everyone, welcome to Tokyo Kitchen Japanese Cooking Class. This is Yoshimi. Today I'm going to show you how to make kabocha no nimono. Nimono means smart thing. So kabocha no nimono is smart kabocha. Remember the salty butter kabocha I made the other day? That one was really easy, but this one is also very very easy. Let's get started. These are what you need. One quarter kabocha pumpkin, one tablespoon mirin, one tablespoon soy sauce, half a teaspoon instant Japanese soup stock. Let's remove the seeds using spoon. Then let's cut these ends. Cut it in chunks. Put them in microwave a bowl like this. Put the instant dashi soup stock, one tablespoon soy sauce, one tablespoon mirin, three tablespoon water. And cover it with plastic film. You don't need to seal it completely. You just put it on top and then microwave this for about three to four minutes until it's half cooked. Take it out from the microwave. Remove the film and let's mix it. Put the film back on and microwave for another three to four minutes until it's completely cooked, nice and soft. It's been microwaved for seven minutes total, so let's check if it's completely cooked. If toothpick or fork go through easily without any resistance, that means it's cooked. Mix it one more time. Let it sit for five minutes. During the five minutes resting, kabocha soaks up all the broth, so there is almost no broth left at the bottom of the bowl. Let's serve it, and it's good to go. That's all for today. It's so, so easy, and you can't mess it up. I hope you enjoy making and eating this delicious kabocha no nimono. Thank you so much for watching. More videos coming up, so don't forget to subscribe and turn the notification bell on so that you don't miss anything. Bye!